Okay, enough theory. Let's make some stuff. So drag Cartoon Hero into Sublime Text and let's start writing some HTML. So you know the theory, I'm just going to follow it. So until we save it as an HTML file, you're not going to get any cool com uh, code completion. So save it in your Cartoon Hero folder as elements.html. There we go. You now see that there's some code coloring. There's also code completion, h2, heading 2. Let's do a, a paragraph. This is my first paragraph. Paragraphy. Paragraph. Okay. So we've got some elements. There's a, a really default and basic one called a div tag. This is like your basic box. And it's the most common one to put more boxes inside of. So we can actually just, you know, carry on putting boxes inside boxes inside boxes. But, you know, eventually you need to put something inside of something. So I'm going to put an A tag in here. Okay. Now an A tag is a link or an anchor. It comes with a special attribute called href, and inside that href, you, you specify a URL. You tell the browser, if the user clicks on this, where should we go? So, you put something inside there. So let's go and put http skillshare.com, okay? And the content of it should be, visit the Skillshare website. Fantastic. Let's save. Now, right click on elements.html, reveal in Finder, and then drag it into Google Chrome. And there we have something. You see how different the H1 is from the H2? Heading 1, Heading 2. It's very different from your paragraph, and it's very different from your link, which is underlined, and it's purple, because we visited it before. So if I click this one, hey, it's going to take me somewhere, to the Skillshare website. That's cool, right? So if I click back to Sublime, I can now change or give the, the A tag or the A element an extra attribute called target, which would allow me to set its value to blank or underscore blank, save it. And what this will do is it will actually open in a new tab, which is pretty cool. It means that you can just keep on opening new tabs and new tabs and new tabs and eventually get to so many that you don't even know what every single one of them is. Okay, I digress. Let's go back to Sublime Text and I'll show you a few more other elements in their attributes. So if we create a new paragraph tag, we can say, hey there. But if I want to say, hey there, my name is, and now I want to actually put that on a new line, I can use a BR tag which is a break. Now you can press enter, we don't have to, but I'm not going to. My name is Richard. Let's save this, file save. And from here, you can see that there's actually a line break. So that's one of the special tags. It doesn't have a closing tag. The next one that I'd like to show you is the image element. The image tag also doesn't have a closing tag. Another special one, another rule breaker. So if we type in test.jpg and we save, go back to Chrome, refresh, you'll see that it comes up with a, a broken image link. So now what I want to do is find an image. So Mr. RA, I'm going to search for this, Mr. RA Rich Armstrong. Cool. I'm going to search for some images. Oh, there's a good one. Now, I'm going to right click and I'm going to save image as test.jpg. Fantastic. Now, when I refresh here, my image will come up. Now, with an image, it's really cool because it means that you can also specify a different one. So, if I click on this one and I right click, and I specify or copy the image URL, it means that I don't actually have to download that. It means that I can just copy and paste that inside my source. 
So where test.jpg is a relative URL, it's saying, where can I find that locally? You can also paste in an absolute URL, which start, starts with HTTP or HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. Now I'm going to save this and go back to my browser, back to elements.html and refresh. And you'll see that I now have a new image. All right. So the final thing that we need to do for all HTML pages is that we need to wrap it in an HTML element. Woo! Do you see all of that? That was pretty intense. So I'm just going to edit undo. And I'm going to do that all by myself. Okay. So let's go HTML. Let's write the closing HTML tag and then cut it and put it at the bottom. What we then need is that we need a head tag and we need a body tag. You see what happens when you close things automatically. Body tag. So I'm going to cut that body tag and I'm going to put it right beneath the, the last element. So what HTML recommends is that you put all your invisible elements inside your head tag. I'll show you what it an example of invisible boxes and all your visual stuff or visible stuff inside your body tag. This is just a formality. You don't really have to have all of this, but for all the browsers and to make things work super smoothly all the time, I would highly recommend it. So we'll be doing this from now on. Okay. Inside your head, we can do something like title and we can actually change the title of the, the web page. So at the moment, the title of the web page is elements.html. I want to change it to something else. So in Sublime Text, I'm going to say elements with a few exclamation marks. Save that. Refresh. And you see it says elements with a few exclamation marks. And that's about it in terms of how to write HTML. Now, what's really cool is that every single visible elements can have a style attribute, and inside the style attribute you can start to play around with some CSS. So we can say color uh, is blue. We can also say text decoration underline. Okay, sounds pretty cool, right? File, save. Woo! That looks like a link, even though we can't click it. So you can see how you can start to mess around with some CSS here, hey?